I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you. You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. I don't think your son would appreciate it if you killed me. We didn't save you to spare Theron's feelings. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. What makes Arkan and his followers so different from Jedi or Sith? Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. The knights of Zakul are slaves to the Eternal Emperor. I will never be like them. Those who do not bend, break. Darth Ma. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. You never cared about becoming immortal, but I guess dying changes everything. Denying the Void's embrace taxes me, but I will not leave our Empire undefended. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. If Jedi and Sith have found a way to work together, I want to know how. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. 
All we ask is that you listen with an open mind, and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkhan requires new perspectives, and new weapons. Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you, and meet us in the cave. Arkan's sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. A bond to the Force as intense as yours brings with it powerful insight. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen, and behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war, a different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. You want me to build a new lightsaber? You will create a pure extension of the Force's will. One you alone control. With it, you can unite a thousand stars. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. There's no defeat I can't overcome. It's done. That blade is part of you now. The next time you face Arkan in battle, he will not be ready for you. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkurian and refused to bend. That choice broke me, and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand, because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. I've been a leader before. I know what it takes to win a war. Your one-time power base was impressive. But in the end, you were still only one facet of the Dark Council. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. <laughs> 